Today we're going to cover one of the most vital skills an offensive player can have, and that's pressure passing. Pressure passing, very simply, is the ability to pass the ball under pressure. You need to be able to pass the ball at the moment your teammate needs it and with accuracy. We're going to separate the pressure pass into two main parts. The first, up, in, and counterbalance. The second, step out. Now let's take a look at up, in, and counterbalance. You need to keep the ball as far away from the defense as possible at all times. You draw an invisible line through the defender's head, through your head, and that's where you need to keep the ball at all times. It's imperative that you elevate up and drive your offhand shoulder into the defense, forming a T with the defensive player. This is a position of strength. You'll notice here, Nick will counterbalance when Bernie moves to the right or the left, keeping the ball in that invisible line. The reason he's doing that is, if he does not, the ball gets closer to the defense, allowing Bernie to steal the ball. If he keeps it in that line between their two heads, Bernie will have to climb over Nick's head to get the ball, and that's going to be a foul. And now let's move on to the second part, which is the step out. The step out is used to create separation for the offensive player before he passes the ball. Now when you're going up and into your man, you're going to want to establish what we call a split egg beater position. If you're right handed, you use your left leg directly underneath you for support. Your right leg is out to the side here and you're egg beatering in this position. This one's used in case you're being pushed down to hold your position up, and this one is used to step way out on to create that separation before you make the pass. Now we're going to go over three common mistakes that water polo players make when they're pressure passing. The first one is that they get their off arm up too high on the defense. So instead of having the forearm low and the shoulder in, they bring this off hand up to the shoulder up high where the referee can see it. The problem is it's too tempting to push off and that's going to be an off offensive foul. What you want to do is get the forearm low, so if you get the defense anywhere, it's around the rib cage underneath the arm. The second mistake is that they step out straight back instead of to the side. So what they end up doing is they try to pass through the defense instead of passing around the defense. That looks like this. I'm going up and in. I'm in my split egg beater. Everything's good. I step out and then I throw through and she blocks it. And the third one is so important. It's subtle, but it's important. What you want to do is you want to keep kicking as you're passing the ball. So a mistake would be to come here, step out, stop, and pass the ball. Defense catches up. As you're passing the ball, the defense catches up. They're not stopping, you did. What you need to do is keep kicking throughout the whole passing motion, never stop. So that looks like this, if we'll do it in slow motion. I go up and in, I go up and in, I step out, I move, I move, I'm passing, I'm still moving. Pressure passing is such an important skill to have as an offensive player. You need to be able to get your teammates the ball when they need it and with accuracy. If you can do that, you will have yourself some success in this sport. I'm David Farkas from Shequatics Water Polo. See you next time. <laughs> well, let me do that again. Let me do that, <laughs> let me do that again. I can do it. I can do it. Hold on. Shush it. Because I got to do another take. I don't want you laughing on the take. Stop. Stop.